<clears throat> okay, so for devotion today, it's coming out of John chapter 10, and we're going to start with verse 27, and it says, my sheep listen to my voice, and this is Jesus, okay, talking, and he's referring to the sheep as, you know, as believers, my sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. And I want to go back and reread the first verse, John ten twenty seven. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. The reason why this verse is so distinct for what I'm getting ready to tell you about is um, last week while I was in my prayer time, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me what I was supposed to say for Monday, what I was supposed to do for devotion for Monday. And I thought, okay, but it's a story and it's something that I personally went through. And this verse has a lot to do with it. Now, I had to research and look this verse up but it tells you why um, when you are a believer, okay, you have a daily walk with the Lord and he speaks to you. Well, he does, he, he does to just about anybody, but he definitely does to me. And you may be like, I don't get that. How does that work? How does that happen if you're a new believer? Well, let me tell you. I was, I can't remember if it was latter part of junior high, first part of my high school years. I can't quite recall. I'd have to look it up and research it because there, this is extremely significant. I was sitting on the front porch of where I lived in, in Herculaneum on our front porch swing. And I was just out you know, hanging out, chilling, enjoying the beautiful weather, and swinging. And it's just a big porch swing. So, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, I start hearing these thoughts come into my mind. And they're not my thoughts, okay? They're, it was wild, because I started hearing there's going to be this and I can't remember verbatim because at that point in time I, I didn't write stuff down. Now I write stuff down, but I kept hearing there's going to be a lot of natural disasters. There's going to be tornadoes and earthquakes and floods, and I mean the and immediately I just I just tuned into it and I let it go. Like I kept listening. And I thought, holy cow. And so, I don't know how long it lasted, but I knew that I knew right then and there it was from the Holy Spirit. It's the first time it had really ever happened to me. And when it was finished, I just got up and walked inside. And my mom was sitting in the living room. And I guess she had gotten up and come and you know, was getting ready to say something to me. And instead, she, I guess she was watching and she could tell. She even said to me, she goes, Sarah, was the Holy Spirit dealing with you about something while you were sitting out there? And I literally, I was like, how did you know that? And she said, I could just tell you look like you were really focused on something. And I said, mom, I was. And so I explained it to her and I told her about it. <sighs> And do you know that within about two weeks of that, the massive earthquake in California hit. And it was huge. It was ginormous. It was terrible. Uh, there were pictures all over the news about it. And when that earthquake hit, she and I just looked at each other. And I was like, Mom, that's what God was trying to tell me. And it started right then and there in my life where I knew... When I heard that voice where it was just one of those things, and it's not a voice, it wasn't audible, it was just thoughts that would come into my mind that weren't my normal, like my type of thoughts, what I was thinking. It was the Holy Spirit speaking to me and talking to me. And 
ever since that day, when I hear that, or just know, I know, pay attention. He's talking to you. He's trying to give you some wisdom or some insight or prophetic word or whatever. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because there's several, there's got to be tons of you out there that you're thinking, people always talk about the Holy Spirit. How do I know he's talking to me? That's how you know. Or you may see visions or you may have a dream. But for me, I hear his thoughts in my head. I hear him talk in my head. So pay attention to those things, okay? So that's it. Um, that's what I wanted to, to share today. So let me pray and then, Lord, I thank you. And I, I know that this is very particular and specific um, for someone out there. Or lots of people that are out there that may hear this today and finally be like, okay, how do I do this? Lord, help them to pinpoint, make it so clear that they know, God, when you're speaking to them, that it's you. And it's important that they listen and they, they obey. Um, give them that discernment, that insight, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So there you are.